recently there's been a lot of odd things happening in the world of comics and if you don't know you can google it um, some poor decisions was, was made um, and because of certain events a lot of comic book uh, stores are closing down some of them permanently okay now that's a very sad situation things will have to change to revive the comics industry now the comic industry is not dead let's go ahead and get that out there that's another falsehood that's being spread across the internet comic industry is not dead it's not going anywhere there's been comics since the days of Egypt hieroglyphics and there, there will be comics in some fashion or form going forward for indie creators we've been told hey this is the time dive in start making your stuff well I've been making stuff for a while so if it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and take off where I'm at now so thanks for the advice though uh, but one person was saying um, to avoid using public domain uh, characters and materials because of trademark issues. Okay. I agree to a certain extent. Some things you can still use. Like if you were going to do Conan the Barbarian, okay, you have to be very careful of that. It's very strict. Uh, trademark rules on that but the first stories are public domain and if you did the characters that are in those first stories you could make something else you cannot call the book Conan the Barbarian and for safety reasons uh, legal reasons safety reasons for legal reasons you would be better off calling the barbarian something else now on a youtuber I was watching uh, maybe last week they had uh, stated, why just do a, a great version of something that's in the public domain when you could create your own properties? Here's the catch, okay? You have to have a very large following to create something of your own and have the audacity to put it out there expecting to sell something. Believe me, I know. I've been doing this for a long time. And I'll create a property, I'll get it out there, and no one cares. Because it's not something they're familiar with. It's like when you go to the grocery store, and you want Mountain Dew, and they're sold out of Mountain Dew, and they got like 20 generic versions of Mountain Dew. You didn't come in here to buy the generics. So, you're not going to touch that. You'll buy like Coke, Pepsi or something. Just, you know, you're going to get another brand name. You're not going to buy the low-grade generic stuff. Indie creators using their own IPs, unless they're famous or already have name recognition, is going to be counted as the generic soda in the grocery store. The generic Coke in the grocery store. That's what you'll be counted as. If you're going to create, create something of your own, but first build an audience. Simple as that. Take care. God bless. Talk to you later. Somewhere in a remote, uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero research explorer in time and space. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. 
He now has his designs here on Tee Public. Old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original T Public designs. Make sure you visit Men's Kepley Art 1972 at tpublic.com. You'll be glad you did.